Three to go. Gorgeous weather, 30 degrees today, approximately. Gorgeous view. Nathan, this room is about to be our bedroom. Slash our apartment. Studio. <laughs> yeah, studio. One bedroom apartment. Could be bedroom, kitchen, living room. Theater, whatever. Ballroom. <laughs> Ballroom. Oh, I can I can take I can throw parties here. Yeah. There's no problem, you know me. So this door, uh, it's two against the wall, especially since we're gonna put some insulation here maybe. Yes. And we're gonna put obviously drywall. Mm -hmm. So we need to move this door further mm -hmm. back. It's already a bit skinny and I don't think we could close it any further without moving it further over or else I won't pass. <laughs> we need to do a two meter seven opening. Hi. These are for a cofrage or a framework around um, concrete, but we can also use them to distribute the weight between the base of the acro props. Do you only have like these two sick acro props? Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to bring the rest up here. I'll be back. <laughs> you have a full team of help there. Yeah, I do. How much do they cost? From the store, 28 euro, so about $30. Uh, if you get them used, 10 euro. <laughs> <laughs> They're very sturdy, so when you can find them, people were willing to get rid of them for 10 euro, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, like, we can tell the difference. This one is new here, this one is used. Yeah, we don't care about the paint. We don't care about the makeup on it, right? No. You know what, Nathan? We just like open and then we run home and then we just pray. We for, close our eyes. <laughs> we close our eyes. We don't return until like a day or two. Yeah. And we see. Plus, we know a good mason if we stuff know, hits the fan. Mm, <laughs> we know a very good mason and he's like, what, 10 minutes away? And he told us to do like this, right? Mm -hmm. so, let's see. Do you think they painted it this gray green or it's actually the paint that became gray green? I don't know, they had a bunch of weird color choices, so who knows? Ooh. 
Should we keep the door? No. Maybe the hardware. Nathan, the wood is in pretty good shape, huh? We keep we keep this wood. We're gonna reuse it. Okay. You never know you need some wood until you renovate a house like this. And then you keep looking for do we have a small plank? Do we have a little there you go. No, uh, that's not in a good shape either. That's not in good shape. I don't know, I cannot really tell. I mean, structurally, yeah, but moisture-wise, no. We need to do an opening of one meter. One meter. So, so a header of 140, because you you want 20 centimeter on one side, 20 centimeter the other side. So our opening that we're working on, it's actually very nice because it's already an opening and we're just moving the opening over. So we already have something to work with. Therefore, we figured that we'll start with making a support pole from right here that goes up. We'll do that first and then we can start removing from the other side. So there's already kind of a permanent echo prop in place. Another reason why we want to take the plaster off here is because since we're going to be working with mortar and uh, concrete, we want it to be able to stick to the existing concrete and stone. So this layer of plaster prevents that, that's why we want to get rid of this too. The old stone wall is not perfectly flush, so I'm just 
screwing in the small crack behind on this side. Do you know why we're using the concrete mixer today? Yes. Why? I already know. <laughs> For those of you not in the know, uh, when we were working with concrete before, it was just small amounts. We're using like half a bag, maybe a bag tops. But for this, we need to fill the entire cavity with uh, reinforced concrete. So we have to use several bags of concrete, uh, probably like five or six. So when you're working with that much, that's when this comes in handy. Hey, mate. Hey, Maria. So uh, we found like a nice stone that's gonna support until we put our new header in place. And to use it, we have to take out the stones below it and then put a joist through and echo prop it up. Okay. All right. You can remove the one that is under it, but not, not anymore on the sides, you know? Mm -hmm. to create yourself more space maybe. Yeah. It's like they try to enter bumblebees, then they see us and they go, uh, no, bad idea, bad idea. <laughs> for reference, or for some context, a bumblebee entered. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, it goes through. Perfect. Yes. So now that we put the uh, beam through, we're going to put in our acro props to hold it in place so it supports the wall. 
and then we can demount all the stones below it and put in our brand new header. Perfect. Not tonight though. <laughs> Not tonight. That's still like two days of work. I think so too. Or one full day, but we never have a full day. So. Mm. So now we have our first beam in place and propped up and that's going to support all the stones above it here. And while that's supported, we're going to remove from here down and then we're going to put in a new header where this chalk line is and we're going to rest it over 20 centimeters on top of this. It's called the jambage in French, like a leg. A legging. A legging. <laughs> and you need that 20 centimeters for, for the header to be supported. And of course we're going to do this same thing that we did here, over here. So you're only doing two uh, acro-pops? No, hold on. Acro-pops? Prop. Acro-prop. Are you doing... <laughs> that belongs to bloopers. Uh, are you doing... I'm tired. Are you doing only two acro-props? We're going to do some below to support the floor here and also for the other side too. So yes. on the first floor, we're going to support this so that the weight of all this wall is not just going to go to the floor. It's going to be transferred underneath too. Especially that these beams are kind of sick under, right? It bounces. Whenever I need like uh, travel pills when we walk on this floor. <laughs> Nausea pills. Nausea piece because the floor goes boing, boing, boing. That's, oh, makes me dizzy. Yeah. Anyway, Nathan, good job today. Mm. We see tonight. you. <laughs> good job today, tonight. <laughs> see you tomorrow. The crickets are already out. The, oh, yeah. I don't know if we can hear them on the camera. They don't, they don't have mics. <laughs> Neither do we. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon. Day two. Day two, yeah. So we just arrived and Nathan... And the wall fell. No, come on, Nathan. <laughs> Everything seems to be holding for now. Yeah. So what's next? So now we're going to do the other piece right here the mm -hmm. other opening header. yeah and then after that we're gonna remove or demount all the stones below and you're gonna create your jambage and i'm gonna create a mess <laughs> so once again what does jambage means legging <laughs> a legging <laughs> jambe means leg so jambage i don't know how to translate that a legging <laughs> I'm actually wearing a legging. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go. Yep. Shall we get through? Yeah, try. Oh, 
Ugh. Yeah. Awesome. <gasps> oh my god. Awesome. Wow. Okay. Look where I mark. Oh, you're exceptional, my friend. <laughs> you are exceptional. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can tell you marked right here and you're exactly under. I did a big circle, so that's just the top part. Nathan, at this point, what about we, we do a, a loft concept and we just open everything? <laughs> <laughs> no. Look at this. We, we took the loft concept so far that we even have like toilet uh, opened. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have much um, privacy between us, right? <clears throat> Not during this renovation. No. Uh, the first one we went by hammer and chisel, so that took quite a while. While this one we went with the power tool directly, because Maria gained some confidence and it only took like 20 minutes tops. Okay, can I prepare my defense? <laughs> okay. In my defense, a very professional mason Mm -hmm. that we work with usually came here and said oh my god if you touch one stone this is it everything is in the ground with all the cracks you have and stuff so do you give me some credit for being a little bit scared but it's it's actually good buns huh? very oh, yeah. good buns my baby yeah all right woohoo we put Continue. We did two hours. <laughs> yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> 300 <laughs> days of work to go. <laughs> Our mason does that like in two days. But whenever we... So, we originally called him. He made me an estimate. And then, okay, the estimate, they do them in like five minutes, right? Mm. But then, they tell you, all right, if you... Okay, with the estimate, I'll be available in like nine months. <laughs> So where does that push us? Like, we, 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 will, we will never live in this house if we keep waiting after professionals. Mm. Right, Nathan? Yep. Let me tell you something, guys. This is France. Summer is coming. People do not work. They take vacations at least a month. So, yeah. And now he starts to tell us, because he's seen what we've done at the house when he's working here. And he goes, May don't hire me to do that. Go ahead and do that yourself. <laughs> yeah, and then he, 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 he tells us to do some things who look so scary and he goes, oh, come on, you guys can just like change all the beams. That's way easier than doing the slab. Oh, la, la, la. Oh, yeah. man, this is super scary. <laughs> Nathan, this is funny. We rebuilt this wall there because there was originally a wall here, not on the bottom, but there was a wall here. I'll try to insert a video to show you that Nathan knocked it. That was pretty funny. I did find the video. So this is Nathan breaking one of the walls like where I was showing you. Uh, so we did actually like one year of demo. That was crazy. Like, And the roofer told us that, that that's very dangerous what we did because the roof was crumbling. But we didn't know, so we did it. So here, Nathan broke the walls, everything. Then he ended up cutting all these beams. Everything was rotten. Uh, I just wished I was putting videos on YouTube at that time because I would have had everything well organized and uh, it's life. Nathan, my hair, it looks like I passed it in a air fryer. The beams we got for lifting the wall in this project, they are very long for that project. They're three meters long, but we got them to be able to repurpose them to put them here. I'm a cheap, cheap steak. <laughs> cheap skate. Huh? Cheap skate. Oh, not cheap steak? No. Cheap skate. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on, I watched the I watched the show on TLC. It's not cheap steak for real. Cheap skate. Cheap skate. Okay. I've asked Nathan if we put some video one day on some videos one day on YouTube. We'll we'll put them in French. <laughs> and then Nathan was like, uh, "I'm more comfortable in English." Okay, but uh, you know. <laughs> I'm not a native. 
All right, Nathan, this is, has to be our bedroom in a few months. We're not joking anymore, right? No more joking around. <laughs> no more joking around. So you're ready to pass the beam, you think? Yeah. Nathan, I'm your biggest fan. I hope you realize that, right? Someone wrote a comment one day saying, I, I don't remember who it was, I'm sorry. Uh, I love how you, you always compliment Nathan and... And this is true, I don't realize. Do you compliment me this much? Oh yeah. You do? Oh yeah. Wow, oh, thank you. Every day I say, man, I'm so lucky, you're so beautiful. Ooh. Now we're talking. <laughs> it's gonna go through? Sorry, it goes through! Yeah. Wow! What a <sighs> violence. <laughs> we can put this above the two echo props. That's going to distribute the weight because we don't trust this old bouncy <gasps> wood. Nathan, that bounces. Yeah. They can't feel it, but do it again. I'm going to show them with the camera. <laughs> Hopefully the stabilization doesn't work. No. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The because... camera stabilization. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it just looks like we're suspended. <laughs> True. So yeah, this is just going to go <coughs> horizontally like this, below. Mm -hmm. Voila. Well, I think we understood the concept, to distribute the weight. Yep. Uh, so we have our support in place, and now we're going to cut where the blue chalk line is. Bob le bricoleur. I think in, in English you call it uh, Bob, Bob the, the Builder. Bob the Builder. Heavy. My camera is all dusty. Wow, that's a beautiful um, 
tomahawk. <laughs> right? It's a little bit big for a tomahawk. It's not this size, the steaks? Huh? The tomahawk steaks. Oh, the steaks. I thought you meant the actual tomahawk. Axe, no, no, no. Which would make more sense. <laughs> I like the slider because I could put stones on it easily.
So Nathan, this line here used to be the division for a bedroom. So here was a bedroom, basically a very small, tiny bedroom. To make the very small, tiny bedroom a very large walk-in walk closet. closet. Yes. So this is going to be the walk-in closet. We're going to re put a wall here. And this is going to be the door entrance to the suite parental, the parental suite. <laughs> uh, master bedroom in English. So here, Nathan, would you open the door for me, please? Yes. Be gentleman. This way? Yes. I follow your lead. So... Oh, then you shut the door? Uh, excuse me. I'm on your way. Okay. The neighbor keeps, keeps laughing when I have all these projects and blah, blah, blah. She's like, Maria, please just make a livable place. <laughs> <laughs> You'll dream later. Yeah. She's pretty funny. Anyway, then through this beautiful opening that Nathan is doing here. That's going to be the master bed bathroom. Master bathroom, we can already imagine the toilets are there, but like a small hallway to the kitchen. So basically that's a full apartment, private apartment with our private access directly to the kitchen. We can go pick up popcorns, come back to bed, watch TV. Right, Nathan? Exactly. And all the rest of the house, it's for guests, right? <laughs> all the rest is for guests. And maybe future kids are also guests, right? Don't they live at 18? <laughs> nice weather coming up. Yeah. That's going to be fun. It won't be as important to weatherproof the windows, mm. but it will be nice to keep the bugs out. But the advantage in a stone house is that, honestly, I'm always cold here. Mm. So Bordeaux gets very, very hot. I feel like it's... I know people don't agree with me, but every summer it's the hottest city of France, right? Watch the forecast on TV and, and they go, Nice, 36 degrees, Marseille, 42, and Bordeaux, 44 degrees. <laughs> Bugs, sorry, I can't. Anyway, goodbye, Nathan. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>